Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I wanted to just take a moment and spawn some stuff into this game that I found on the uh, the ID list that I think is either secret, it's uh, not put into the game yet, or it's never going to be put into the game because it is cut content or it's not necessary to be in the game. So first and foremost, just to kind of rip off the bandaid and get right into it, I want to go ahead and spawn in a little item that we call ship underscore construction. Now the interesting thing about this is it immediately fills the terrain in below you. You've probably seen me use this thing before. This is actually what I use to generate terrain around me because it automatically fills in the ground below it. And it's got these stilts holding it up too which I think are kind of neat. But I don't think, I think the reason why this has been cut from the game is because it doesn't really need to be in the game. It's essentially the exact same character model as the regular longship is. Uh, and uh, it, it's not accessible right now but after about a minute it becomes a regular ship. It just starts, kind of kicks off of the uh, landscape here and becomes a regular ship again. So I think it's just kind of a redundancy in the game that they're probably going to get rid of completely at some point. And now it has become a real ship, so you can see. I can interact with it and pilot it, although there's not really much point. All right, so next we're gonna spawn in another thing that's interesting. You might have caught it out the corner of your eye here. And it is called the trailer ship. Boop. And I think it's really neat because it's got all this cargo in it. It's got this canopy over the top. Here's the problem. You can't steer it. It's inaccessible for driving. So there's nothing you can do to actually pilot this thing or move it around. Uh, I think that really what the reason why this is in the game is because they're experimenting with this as their template with customization. I think that maybe we're going to get customizable canopies and these on the, on the sides here are actually used in a trailer that I can show you right here. And they have shields filled in on these little circles. They actually have shields filled in on them and I'm assuming that we're going to be able to kind of put whatever shields we want into there uh, at our own discretion. So I think that's kind of neat. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is something that I find particularly interesting uh, because I think it's a relic of a, a previous game or a previous test bed that the uh, developer used. It's called the Toroko Flyer. So this is cool because it's a little spaceship. Now, you can't interact with this in any meaningful way. You can kind of push it around a little bit and whatnot, but it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't serve any purpose. Now, the research I did on this makes me think that it's actually just something that's left over from a much earlier Unity dev build from some previous project that they were doing uh, before they started making this particular game. Uh, I think that's that's very likely what is going on here uh, because it certainly doesn't fit in this Viking fantasy game. I don't think that it's meant to be in this game. I think it's a relic of a previous game's development. Goodbye Toroko Flyer! Alright, so the next thing we're going to spawn in is kind of interesting, and uh, I don't really know what purpose it serves right now, but I can speculate. And its name is Training Dummy. Now this is obviously not something that we can spawn in ourselves, but this little guy here is here to you know, take all the punches. And I think there's two things that are interesting about this guy. One is that I believe this is a Draugr. I think what this is is an early version of the Draugr before they decided to go with a little bit more of a realistic art style for the game because he clearly does not match the way that we look. He's got these kind of flat, you know, undetailed, non-detailed ends and, and whatnot. So I think maybe at some point they dabbled with an even simpler art style than what they've gone with here. Not to say that this art style isn't good, I think this game's art style is fantastic. Uh, but I think that's just a relic of uh, a previous, you know, period of development. It's interesting because he actually has, like, AI, because you can see his head is kind of following me around right now. But he doesn't much care for the attacks I'm throwing at him. I think what this exists for now, though, is I think it's just way a way for them to test the damage tables on individual enemies and whatnot uh, internally. I don't think it's meant for us to use in any way, shape, or form. The next thing I'm going to spawn in is just a, a silly little one. Take a look here. It is just called Bucket. Mr. Bucket, buckets of fun. Uh, I haven't seen this in game. Maybe it is in game. I just, I personally have not spotted it in any in any place that I've gone to. I think it's cool that it has interactable physics, but other than that, it doesn't serve any purpose. You can't pick it up. You can't use it. But you can knock it in the water and uh, never see it again. Goodbye, bucket. 
All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is actually something that I'm currently wearing right now. It's called Cape Test. You probably see that it looks like crap on my back here, but that's just the object as you can see it below. That's what it looks like before you've picked it up. This is quite literally the cape that I'm wearing, and I think that the reason why this exists is just for them to test out capes and test out physics for them and the models and whatnot. It is clearly in a very broken state right now because it's clipping through my shoulders and it's not really meant to be used. It doesn't flow or anything like that. It's it, Because it's clipping into my character, I'm pretty sure it's not able to flow freely. It's just a, maybe an earlier version of the cape or just what they throw onto the cape or what they map the textures to just as to like as a way to test it out and see how it looks in action the next thing we're going to spawn in is actually one of my favorite things you can spawn into the game we're going to type in sword iron fire and then we've got this bad boy and this thing is so cool now it obviously it looks awesome it's called the Durnwin and I'm not sure what the folklore is behind that I could have done some research before but I just didn't have the time it is badass and it is by far the strongest weapon that I've seen in this game I have not seen anything that even comes close to what the damage that this thing does is and I can show you how much damage it does here by middle clicking this it does absurd amounts of damage it just did 210 damage this structure. I'm a big fan and I'm curious to know how it's going to come into play. It's actually crafted using a material called Flametal, which is interesting because it's in the game, that material, but it's not currently usable for anything. So my opinion is that this is actually just going to be some end game tier content uh, that people are going to use to tackle the final bosses or what have you. Alright, so the last four things that we've got to spawn in here are without a doubt the most interesting things in my opinion. So the first thing we're going to spawn is going to be an item called Tankard Odin. And you can very clearly see that it is quite literally just a tankard. It's a horn for mead. Problem is, you can't use it. DLC required. So if I'm understanding correctly, these items, which I'll spawn in the next one, These items are for, from what I was reading on Reddit, and I don't know that this is actually official, so I won't say for sure. This is stuff that's meant for people who played an earlier build of the game, or maybe it's for people who have gotten in on the ground floor like we have uh, early on in the game's development. Uh, and it's not actually meant for us to be able to, to use until there's a period of time where the game is launched. It's DLC. It's basically just a reward tier for people who were early on in the game's development. Uh, helping out. And again, you can just see looking at it on the ground. It looks roughly the same as it does in its preview. It looks kind of interesting But you cannot equip it You don't even know what it looks like on the character model because there's no way to put it on them And if there is some way that I'm not aware of it yet So the very last thing we're going to spawn in is in my opinion the most interesting object that we can possibly spawn in Because it solves a mystery in this game of what a mysterious figure is now there is in this game and you may have seen it or you may have not seen it a mysterious hooded figure with a glowing eye and we haven't actually had any confirmation as to what this creature is or what it's doing but let me tell you that when I type F5 and choose to spawn Odin into the game he appears for a second I'm gonna keep just kind of spamming him spawning in right here just so you can get a good look. I'll tell you what, we'll do this. We're gonna set it up so we can get a nice good look here. So you can see his glowing eye there, the one glowing eye that he's got, which I think is fascinating. This is kind of lagging up my game, but it's okay. So you're getting a really good look at this character model as it's popping in. And with that, with that, I think we have confirmation that this is Odin looking after us and watching what we're doing as we're doing it. I mean, you don't name a character model Odin if it's not Odin, right? But that's the last thing I wanted to show you guys here. Uh, just a, quite a few cool things that I found in the game's uh, files that I thought were pretty interesting. Uh, other than that, uh, if I find anything else, you know, you'll be the first ones to know. Uh, do me a favor if you enjoyed this content or you want to see anything more like it pop into the comments Let me know anything you'd like to see hit the subscribe button. It lets me know that you support me and uh, Like comment blah, 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 blah. I know I'm doing all that, but please Help a, a, a man who wants to feed his cat delicious food Please You guys have a good day